Two icons of change were recently brought together in Dubai. UAE-based sustainability venture, the Change Initiative, welcomed renowned social advocate Dr. Kieran Bedi. And the combination of the two was nothing less than encouraging, as Myrna Nassar reports. Dr. Kieran Bedi is a revolutionary. She is a distinguished former police officer who drove change. She is a social activist currently driving change. And it is change that has brought her to Dubai. For her, the Change Initiative is about bringing many minds together to provide quick, sustainable solutions for the common man. We, I think, need synergizing of minds of these from the seven billion even one million people coming together with right bright ideas for alternative sources of energy and transferring it into technology. Humankind will be more prosperous. Full marks to this institute. It's left me educated. But you see, it's also provided me a hope that if I don't see this revival in my lifetime, my child will be able to see it. In fact, the next Nobel Prizes should go to those who created common man's alternative source of energy. Dr. Kiran was invited to view TCI by CEO and founder Mr. Gandeep Singh and old friend David Hudson, a member of the supervisory board. Dr. Kiran Bedi has been a strong proponent of building uh, sustainable uh, you know, practices within India, as she mentioned in terms of actually building a village that runs on solar lighting and so forth and so on. And she has a strong vision where she believes that the answers lie in using nature more effectively. I re regard Kiran, as, m as I think most people do, as a person of change. She's, wherever she is, whatever she's in, been involved in, she's changed from starting her career in the police to running the, being the first lady to run Tihar prison, being the largest prison in Asia. She has brought change. Bringing two icons of change together was my objective. Dr. Kiran Bedi on one side and TCI on the other. While systematically making her way through TCI, there were no lack of questions. Her colleagues described Dr. Bedi as having a very active mind, and it is this, her eagerness to learn, that has allowed her to educate others. She was India's first and highest ranking female police officer. Her continued efforts have prevented crime, reformed prisons, ended drug abuse, and supported women's causes. So when I went into the Indian police service, I think it was um, there were people who wondered what would a woman do with big burly criminals. And there were other people thinking it's a welcome change. Because policing is not only about catching criminals. Policing is dissemination of justice in a society. Policing is about promotion of equity in society. Policing is about reform and prevention. Policing is not about Arrest, policing is about prevention and correction. And that's what I provided. In 2003, she was appointed as a police advisor to the UN Secretary General Kofi Annan. Additionally, she formed two NGOs, Navjoti and the India Vision Foundation. Both currently reach over 12,000 beneficiaries each day. Navjoti and India Vision are, are, are two of my sons and daughters. <laughs> One is almost nearing to be 25 years old, that's Navjyoti India Foundation. The other is 16, they're all teenagers now, is India Vision Foundation. They grew with me while I was in service as a crime prevention measure. And as I grew, it expanded. It's all about community health. It's about community development. And it's all about m reaching out to marginalized sections of society. And India has millions of them. India needs millions of more jobs to reduce unemployment and poverty. I'm only a drop in the ocean, but I'm that drop in the ocean. Her career has seen her accomplish a great deal, and surprisingly at 63 years of age, she shows no signs of slowing down. What do you think is your greatest achievement? My greatest achievement is that I've not wasted a single day of my life. Mm. I, I don't recall I've let a day slip out of my hand not having been productive to humanity or to my surrounding. I sleep very well at night. Mm. So I want to make myself as an asset every day and do it for everybody. And in that, I get so much of energy myself. It's solar energy. The more the sun gives, the more sun gets. Wow. It is truly solar energy. And her energy is contagious. She inspires us all not to be observers of change, but rather to be part of the revolution. Mirna Nasser, 7 National News.